could be a thumbnail. Our van, everyone. <laughs> if you're new, uh, my name's Danny. This is our little yellow van, a Ford Transit Connect that I bought in 2021 for uh, this much and uh, converted it over the past few years. And um, we love it. Since my last very impromptu van tour video, which was very quick, very chaotic, I wanted to do a bit more of a detailed dive into our van. So this van is a Ford Transit Connect. Uh, it is a long wheelbase, high roof. So I'm six foot two uh, and definitely that extra length helps a lot. Uh, when I sleep with my head on this end, uh, my feet just, just about hang off the edge there, which really isn't too bad. Oh. So it was always our dream to have a van and we always loved the outdoors and camping and we thought this would be a perfect way for us to just get out more and just explore the UK countryside. We were living in London in a tiny little basement flat uh, during lockdown and I think that definitely contributed to us dreaming of the countryside and escaping the city and we s slowly started plotting and scheming of how we might be able to make this work. How we ended up with this size was that we knew we didn't want something to live in full time and we wanted a car that could double up as, you know, something we can use in the week to work and just random errands and wasn't too big that it would you know, be tricky if we ended up in a city or something like that. Sorry, I keep, I keep moving around. I'm not sure where to sit. So yeah, as I was saying, this size was just perfect for us. I think it used to be an old dog van for a council. And so it had all these weird compartments in it. It had like kind of this this divider in the middle and then this kind of resin that kept it kind of waterproof. I don't know if, I don't know if they used it to like hose down dogs or um, not really sure. It had a little sink in it and we just had to get rid of everything. We had to cut through this middle bit and um, it took a lot longer than I thought. But because it was a council van, it meant that they looked after it very well. So when we picked it up, it had a couple of little scratches, but they serviced it very regularly. So internally it was, it was tip top. Okay, let me take you on a tour. Okay, let's start with the flooring. So with this flooring, we started by adding this rubber kind of soundproofing to it. Uh, which added insulation and then also stopped it from being incredibly loud when we drove. After that, we added a kind of hardwood top and then we got some wood flooring, wood laminate flooring from B&Q, which um, we covered this whole area in. The frame of this bed was built with simple two by fours. I definitely took a lot of inspiration from other designs and so I looked online and this seemed like just best use of space, in, in my opinion. I might be wrong. I can use this as a little bench, uh, just to sit, make some coffee, uh, hang out wherever we go, and then we turn it into a bed. For the bed, we used another hardwood board, and then we cut slats in it, um, which pulls that into a bed. And to be honest, it supports us very well. Okay, let me show you how we transition this into a bed. mattress I bought a very cheap uh, memory foam mattress from Amazon it was way too thick so it was a massive pain trying to get it uh, the right thickness so learn from my mistake and just just uh, just get it the right size uh, from the start so I spent a lot of time <laughs> cutting this in half with a bread knife um, as you can see uh, it's yeah the this was me with uh, an electric bread knife at one point, uh, trying to trying to chop this in half. It took it took forever. Okay, let me show you the curtains. For these doors, I uh, bought this carpet lining online and then used a glue to uh, to attach it. 
And it was quite stretchy, so you can kind of get it into, into all these little spaces. And I think it looks awesome. I mean, it's so much better than just the, the metal yellow sticking out. It also just like makes it a bit cozier, you know? And then for the curtains, uh, this <laughs> we need to upgrade these, but this was a um, blackout curtain that we bought from Dunelm. And then we just cut it up and attached it with this little wire thing that I also bought from b and I mean, it's, it's, it's not perfect, but it, it works. There we go. Before adding any of our wood paneling on the side, we had to uh, lay out all the electrics. As you can see, we've got these lights up here and then under here. And we've also got some, um, I forgot the word, got some sockets to charge everything from drones to cameras and all that jazz. So I don't know anything about electrics. So I had to get my dad in to help me. Luckily, he is an expert on all this. Honestly, very grateful for him for uh, helping me uh, with a lot of the, the electrics and everything in this van. Um, it was so much fun getting to work on a little project like this with him. And yeah, it was it was kind of bittersweet when we finished because it, because it meant that like obviously we were done with the van and we could take it on trips. But then it was really fun working on it with my dad. So um, yeah, so we had to um, figure out where all the lights were meant to be um, and then we took all the wires and had to kind of fiddle around and put them behind the paneling of the van all the way to the corner here uh, where our leisure battery is. Uh, the battery is currently buried under this bed um, but we bought one from Alpha Batteries and to be honest it is, uh, it is, it is way bigger than, than it needs to be kind of went a bit overboard with the battery. So for this battery, we used a split charge system, which uh, basically means that it connects to the van battery, um, and then as you drive, it charges the leisure battery, which is pretty sick. We then added some more insulation to the walls uh, to keep it, uh, keep it warm, um, and then put this wood cladding on, which makes it look very sauna-esque. So it, it still needs to be painted, but um, maybe in a future video. Oh my word, new angle. As you can see, I can't quite sit up straight, but I mean, you just kind of, just kind of hang out, don't you? Uh, the lights we used are these circular ones that I bought online. They're, uh, they're dimmable, kind of ridiculous. Our favorite thing though is, um, are these, LED strips. I just bought them from Amazon. They just add so much to the van. Very like, very hygge, which is a word I learned, and we love it. The recent addition, the, the top of this side table, uh, which took me way longer to finish for some reason. It's very useful, and I wish we had it sooner. There we go, folks. Um, all in all, we absolutely love this van. It's the best thing I've ever invested in. Like I said, it's, it's the perfect size for us to use it as a day-to-day -day van, day-to-day -day car. You wouldn't know that it's a camper van, apart from the, the curtains, I guess. And then just on the weekends, to be able to hop in and just drive into the countryside, even just to hang out, like have this little space to, to chill in, or um, if we wanted to stay over, you know, flips out into a bed so easily. We keep all our bedding in here and it just, um, just makes it so simple. We wanted something that would help us to get out and explore the UK countryside more. And whilst we loved camping, um, and that's definitely an amazing option, a much cheaper option, we just thought, let's invest in something that will uh, help us get out more. Like, it doesn't have to be a massive thing. It doesn't have to be a sprinter van with a kitchen and all that stuff. This was a lot more affordable for us. Um, oh yeah, speaking of that, um, the total for this van you know, having bought it for £6,000 and then converted it, we probably spent about, about £3,000 on converting it. It's around £9,000, £10,000 total, you know, to, to do something like this. So it's definitely a big investment. Um, but like I said, we've had it now for two, three years and we absolutely love it. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, please like this video, um, my, little, my more detailed uh, van tour video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions of what we might, you know, be able to do more with this van, um, let me know. I've loved on the last video just hearing other people's stories of, of similar van conversions or wanting to do, you know, similar types of things and gets us explore. Oh gosh.